the real speculation is they think that the people who built the pyramids built them way earlier than the conventional dating is. I mean, not really. I'll get into it. Welcome back to another video. Thank you to everyone who recently subscribed. I appreciate every one of you. And today we have Joe Rogan and Cat Williams going on an absolute dimensional journey with this conversation on the pyramids and Atlantis. And they bring up thirty Atlantean, the emerald tablets, all sorts. So stay tuned, tuck in, get a glass of water, a cup of coffee, and let's indulge. So if you know me, or you probably don't, but if you've seen any one of my prior videos, I am not the biggest fan of armchair researchers going onto podcasts with millions of viewers and spreading, I guess what you would call, just, you know, theory talking points. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Joe Rogan is such a big proponent, proponent of this. And don't get me wrong, I'm not just a hater. Okay, I'm not just a hater. This is how I got into history. So in a way, it is also a good thing. But in another way, he never has experts on. Flagrant had Ben from Uncharted X on. Graham Hancock. But no expert. Yeah, it's titled expert. And the whole thing. And the thumbnail has a pyramid. But like, come on, bro. Get an actual expert on. Same thing with Joe. I've had this problem for so long. There's no expert to correct what these people are saying. And that's the problem. So I can't be too frustrated because it does... Because it does lead you on a path of being interested in the ancient past, right? But it also gives you these false ideas that are just not actually as interesting as real history. And you will hear so much of it. So let's just get into it. If you are not subscribed, consider doing that. If you haven't considered, watch this video and then consider it again. Consider liking this video also. I'd appreciate that. My two last Assassin's Creed videos have actually been getting like good like ratios. And that's cool to see because whenever I make a video like this, the dislike to like ratio is always terrible. But yeah, let's try and not have the dislikes over 80% this time. Please, guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's get into it. No people built the pyramids. No people? No. Who built them? No people built the pyramids. Yo, Joe is too amazed at that statement. Joe is too amazed. And Kat, like he's smiling. He's smiling. Like I can't tell if he's smiling like I know something you don't. Or if that's a smile of I'm not too serious, but this is interesting anyway. Because Joe looks like, tell me more, tell me more. But like, is there more to tell or is there just loose things to say? And then, whoa, you know, for, for like really no reason. They don't, Unless you're they don't enslaving think the Jews. The pyramid. They stopped thinking that quite a while ago. They think it was actually skilled labor because of the way they were eating. They found the, what their camps were, where their food was. They ate like very good food. So they think they were actually skilled labor, but also probably forced skilled labor. But that's probably not the people who built it. Just because we don't know doesn't mean we do know, Joe. So you saying, oh, that's probably not the people that actually built the pyramids. How can that not be the people that actually built the pyramids, bro? I mean, okay, let's say it's not, okay? But then what are you saying then? Are you saying they just repaired the pyramids or worked on the pyramids? Why can they not be the actual people that built the pyramids? And I know Joe is not saying anything that I'm not saying, right? If you get what I'm saying. But there's actually quite a bit of evidence to show that these pyramids were built in the 4th dynasty. I've kind of changed my opinion a little bit on if the specific pyramids were tombs for specific pharaohs, but I can get into that in another video. My point is, there's so much evidence to say that it goes back this date, right? And the people to properly exclaim this evidence, and just the interesting facts in general, they aren't invited onto these types of podcasts. They aren't, invi they aren't invited onto the podcast with millions of views. Obviously, it's very much for entertainment. So, you know, can't take it too seriously. But it is being spread to millions of people. And like, it would be, it would be cool to have some experts information uh, on specific sites spread to millions of people. You know what I mean? Who do you think built it? Well, understand, we, we know enough now to understand that this was a complex. This was not... Um, right. <clears throat> we've been led to believe that this is how much they worshipped their dead bodies. Right. But the evidence doesn't show any of that. No. We know that's how much they worship their dead bodies, Kat. Like, we know that death was an extremely important end part of life. It was the next step. It was the next journey. It's not surprising that these pyramids are for a funeral purpose in some way, shape, or form. But to say that there's little evidence to suggest that is just, it's just false. 
You have to remember, this is in a windowless room, folks. There's no candle soot. There's no, this, <laughs> uh, it, it's clearly a power plant and built specifically for that location. <clears throat> okay, so is it just that pyramid? So was that the only power plant pyramid? Or were there more? Do the other pyramids align to your theory of being on this correct location? To produce electricity and Wi-Fi, we'll get to that later. So it was powered by the hot water springs? And to but what to what end? How do you know all this, first of all? Is this marijuana talk? <laughs> I don't I don't think so. <laughs> it is. It one hundred percent is. It's just chill talk, but it's also, you know, that that this guy's high off the clouds right now for sure. Even Tesla says that this is where he came to get the information. But if you follow that information pathway, um, it leads you to this character called Thoth, right? And the Emerald Tablets. Yo, we go. Watch him smile up. Look at Cat Williams light up as he talks about Thoth, the Atlantean priest king who handed out to himself the Emerald Tablets. How do I know this? I made a video where I researched the Emerald Tablets and actually got some of that information from Annie XT's video. You should check that out as well. Search Annie XT Emerald Tablets on YouTube. But he's lighting up right now. And I made a whole video talking about why I don't believe a lot of what Billy Carson says because of the root of his information, which is the Emerald Tablets, right? And I also discuss why I don't believe the Emerald Tablets are 36,000 years old why I don't believe they were written by Thoth, and why they probably didn't even exist up till the 1900s. I'm not capping. Go watch that video. I don't really care, but I would want more people to see that. So go check that out. But going back to it, watch him light up because he's probably read a bit of it. And I've read a bit of it too. And there's so much just crazy shit that's said. It's like if you are getting faded, you're being enveloped into that book with a vortex. It will just suck you in. But unfortunately it, it is a story but you know it is interesting it is interesting I, I won't lie but yeah go check that video out for way more context and the emerald tablets um of thoth are literally mind changing and mind blowing just because you understand when this was written and the terminology being used is um when was it written? Far too accurate for now. That's because it was written in the 1900s. And yes, I'm confidently saying that. Debate me in the comments. And I love how Joe's like, what year? What year was it written? It don't. So Joe ends up reading the actual Emerald Tablet that existed and just briefly mentions the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. And I'm glad that he reads the actual Emerald Tablet that existed. And they kind of just threw that whole Emerald Tablet thing off. And they kind of just passed that, that... And I'm glad because I wouldn't listen to anything said in there, you know, except for the really, really in between the lines type of stuff, you know. So that's the thing. Right. This was a fertile yeah. valley. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Right. The that's, Nile Valley. That, that they, was the reason they why they had electric chosen. and Wi-Fi and Ooh. they had all of that. They probably did. This is why Joe Rogan needs an archaeologist on his podcast. Shameless plug, but I'm going to plug it anyway. Go watch that video. Joe Rogan needs an archaeologist or just anyone to fact check the shit that he's saying. Fuck. The greatest trick is to make us believe that people back then were dumber and we're right. smarter. Right. And that whole thing is a fallacy. No one's saying that. I hate this argument. No, oh, you're just saying people back then was dumber. So they. No, you saying people back then were dumber. I, I believe that like they were super, super smart, like intelligent for their time, right? Obviously, it's it's all relative to the time periods that we live in. It's like they were super smart. You are comparing them to, and not Cat Williams specifically in this case, but I'm just going to say you, for example, right? You are comparing them to our technology and you are pu putting our technological ideas onto their religious monuments and architecture and hieroglyphics, Wi-Fi, electricity. I will in okay. Who are the fuck am I right? But let's entertain the idea of electricity. Maybe, maybe Wi-Fi though. Like Bluetooth. Are they gonna have fucking Bluetooth next? Are they gonna be sending shit? 
from cell from phones like smartphones like what the f dog like why f dog i can't uh, i'm taking this too seriously bro i think we are the the children of the survivors of some great catastrophe most human beings probably got wiped out in comet storms joe rogan is way too indoctrinated by the graham hancockian people I, I i just have to, have to say it i have to say it i ain't i'm not me riding anybody i'm just saying what i'm seeing and what i'm feeling i doesn't isn't that what jimmy from bright inside always says look for yourself see for yourself that if that's what it looks like that's what it must be all right no no like that's not what it must be if you look for yourself so there is you know more beyond the surface but it's like Come on, Joe. Please have an archaeologist or some historian or someone on your podcast. I can't wait for this debate with Flint Devil and Graham Hancock in April. It's going to be beautiful. As a preteen, I knew that Atlantis really existed. Yo, that reminds me of that clip from <laughs> the Cleopatra show. I remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school. Cleopatra was black. Yep, I mean, it must be true then, obviously. Okay, I wouldn't lie, that is going to be it. I will get into the whole Jimmy Bright Insight, Richard Structure, Eye of the Sahara, Atlantis Theory in a future video coming very, very soon because they talk about it here. But I don't want to get into that just yet. I paused it. I feel like I've spoken enough in this video. If you did somewhat find any entertainment out of this video, it'll be sick if you could leave a like. <laughs> Let's get the like to dislike ratio a little bit up from the previous <laughs> type of videos. But also in those videos, I was a bit more cynical. I, I didn't really give my perspective a lot of the time. And I'm sorry if I didn't do that here. Sometimes I don't really provide the context to what I'm saying either. And I'm doing the same thing that I'm criticizing other people for. So I do try to provide a bit more information on the things that I'm talking about and why I believe it. But I want to make another video about Joe Rogan and Jimmy Richard Structure Atlantis. You know all that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy. I would appreciate it if you joined the crew. Turn on that notification bell to see when I upload a video. I upload things that I find interesting, not just this type of content. But I definitely do want to do more of this because I, I, ju I just enjoy it. I find it so fun. But yeah, that's going to be it from me. Thank you so much for the support and thank you so much for the growth so far. I appreciate every single one of you. Have a good rest of your day. It's been me, Andrew. Peace out. Uh, it's clearly a power plant.